I'm Laura Green. I'm working at the University of Warwick with a team of research scientists. Um, and we're funded by eBlex to look at mastitis in sheep. So what we're really looking at is why it is that some sheep get mastitis and others don't. And we're particularly interested in two aspects for this research. One is the, the shape of the udder and the position of teats to see whether we can work out whether some sheep are just more likely to get mastitis than others because of how their udder hangs and how the teats are presented. And then we're also looking at the, the lumps that you feel inside the udder and to see what they are doing. Uh, in terms of do they make those sheep more likely to go on to get mastitis or are they a risk for other sheep in the flock. So um, I'm at the R&D event for eBlex today and the part way through message we're, we're looking at is uh, first of all we've looked at some mammary glands from sheep that we've collected in the abattoir after slaughter um, and what we can say is from looking at those glands those lumps that we feel in the udder are abscesses there's always some sort of pus and infection in those abscesses and we grow a multitude of different species of bacteria from them. And then in, in terms of what the data we've collected on farm, we've got some initial evidence that suggests that those uh, masses are a risk for the sheep that have them, that they're more likely to go on to get mastitis in the next lactation uh, if we pick them up during uh, pregnancy. That's where we are at the moment. Um, what we've got is another year of uh, really hard work on all the data that we've collected. And once we've got that, those results analysed, we will um, make sure they come out it, to the farming community through eBlex, through their channels, um, and also to vets and the wider industry.